Good morning. Happy weekend, Scotty. I am feeling so much more refreshed after just using some of that CBD toilet paper, buddy. It's not. Nice. <laughs> so, <I mean. laughs> yeah. I say, you know, I feel great because I slept on CBD sheets with a CBD pillow. Okay. Infused. Not just CBD sheets. I think those babies are uh, CBD techno fiber. What do they get? Techno fiber, dude. It's not just CBD. It's also techno fiber. <laughs> Come on. Let's goof around a little bit today. It was Saturday and I just started laughing. I got inundated with dumb CBD products and then a couple of really cool hemp products that I saw. So cool. Let, let's, uh, let's run the entire gambit here. You want to check it out, everybody? Banner out oh, Saturday morning well, to you, sir. Happy Saturday. Yeah. All right. You got here a little late. It was already been hitting the taps. <laughs> Grandma, what's up, brother? Yo, getting everything set up. We were hitting the uh, dab axe a little hard before we got going. What is the, yeah, no edibles for you today, Grandma? A little bit. You know, 50, I, I've been doing a, a micro dose of 50 each morning. I love it. That's <laughs> your micro dose. <laughs> hey, man, just for you, Grandma, bake that out. And, you know, I know you're from Idaho and stuff. There he is. <laughs> You know I'm from Iowa. That's <laughs> oh, my favorite thing to mess with them about. Man, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, they, these are pretty easy to collect, man. Some of these. I said, has CBD officially jumped the shark? Now, that was your search? I, I just was thinking about it. CBD has officially jumped the shark. Now, how did you find this? I think I would put in re- silly CBD products. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the CBD hemp. Uh, sheets came up, bed sheets. Ooh. Grandma, what do you think? It is techno fiber. I just wonder CBD. what thread counts are they? CBD techno fiber. You are so classy, yeah. Grandma. It's like laying in lotion. Wow, man. My sheets are from Walmart. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff, though. I think this is BS, but like I said, head sheets aren't aren't BS, right? <laughs> this yeah be calm this is a little oh here you go the sounds cbd easy. infused mattress come on this is when you got real fu money you get your own helicopter and a cbd infused mattress what dude what what are the claims what is happening here i know scroll this is funny crap let's see what the claims are that somebody decided that cbd is the future well it promotes overall well-being dude, that's important <laughs> don't you want to be how is this possible? Well, overall, it's not possible. Here you go. CBD infused quilt fabric. <laughs> fabric infused with CBD for a calming night sleep. Well, you got a graphite link. Do you sleep naked? I, I, I have no oh, idea. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, the dude naked? probably does, dude. But me and then it and then you it absorbs through your skin. Wow. Yeah. I find seriously, though, it's nothing that it's not an erotic thing or whatever. I like, it's <laughs> most comfortable to sleep naked. Who, why would clothing is uncomfortable in bed? My wife will wear like sweatpants and shit. I'm like, what are you doing? So, uh, yeah, I love it. It's not an erotic thing yeah. or anything. It's content. Cool. <laughs> well, that's kind of the point, I think. <laughs> you ready to go? Absorb it. You absorb the CBD from the sheets. I got you. Holy. Yeah. Yeah, so don't worry about the dose or anything. Everything about this is just BS. <laughs> it's high performance foam. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> For increased comfort. Man. Now Not that should be erotic. High performance foam. Quantum right. edge coil units. Ooh, yeah. quantum. Trademarked. Copper gel memory foam just means that it failed the heavy metals test. <laughs> <You know, they're laughs> they're like, I got this story. Uh, got it's this. a bug. Now it's a feature. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's it's sus, dude. It's, it's so sus. sus. Yeah, it's All sus. right, so what about this? I think this is sus too, but at least it's getting a little bit closer. It's CBD knee braces. Now, granted, if you were to rub some CBD on before you put the knee brace on, but this is the same CBD infused fabric. Oh. Don't trust CBD infused fabric. Wait, well, this makes a medicine more sense. and <laughs> fibers, and then I see capsaicin. Which is the uh, dude's buying? Like ah, he's a buyer. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like a it's oh, like a one of those bombs that heats up. You know. So they yeah, I mean. <laughs> so they're infusing fibers with different sorts of compounds. I guess so. But what's why would you infuse the fibers? What makes fibers a good delivery method? Mm-hmm. Well, you know. for a brace like that where it's tight. I could see that that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This one's close, but you'd have to put the CBD on underneath it. Like the combination of CBD and a good 
uh, support like that or a good brace is a good combination. Infusing it into the material sounds gimmicky to me. And never wash it. Never, ever wash it. <laughs> yeah, right. Never. It says laundry safe. I'm still mad at the leak. But wouldn't it wash out the CB? Yes, immediately. Either that or if it doesn't wash so, out, it would never. Uh, can I reinfuse it? Sure. I, that's what I'm saying. If you had you a just good some support CBD gel and just kind of smear it on there. Well, why not just put it on your on your skin, though? Well, then directly. Then they wouldn't have a business. Yeah, you're right. You're, anyway. right. Well, this <laughs> next one is, is legit. The CBD toilet paper I want to get as a sponsor. Um, NordicBotanics.com. Wipe away the worries. Oh, yeah. my God. Each, <laughs> we'll, no. each ply, each little uh, <laughs> uh, square, five-ply luxury sheet, May has five milligrams of CBD in it to make it a little easier with each wipe, it says. Oh my um, so does every sheet have the logo on it? Uh, yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, and look, here's how they brand it. It's enriched using uh, cannabis rectal absorbent protocol, <laughs> a.k.a. crap. Don't please tell me that's real. That's real. <laughs> You need to get an award for that. Man. It's, that the, is... it's the cannabis rectal absorption protocol, aka what? crap. That rocks. <laughs> that rocks. Uh, Their power it's made entirely of plants and never tested on animals. This product, animals might like this product. Tested, yeah. We maybe should test it on some. Just make sure it don't kill nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe away the worries. Come on, man. It's homework. Five layers of Wipe British away resilience. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, listen to this last. I can get love available with a heavy dose of pure sandalwood or rose. So everyone will still know you only wipe with luxury, even in a socially distanced world. Is this part, are they still in business? Wait, did it say everyone will know? I don't know. They're not. The more you read this, the more you realize they're insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, it is out of stock. So. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's sold out, obviously. Uh, I tell you what, as much as CBD, I will call that, has jumped the shark. That stuff's pretty ridiculous. I'll, <laughs> when I saw a hemp and when I started Googling silly hemp products, a lot of them were really cool. And, and I think hemp is just coming into its own. One, I, saw, I mean, I believe in hemp products. I've built with my dollars on that. I've used, uh, me and my son use quite a bit of uh, chocolate hemp protein powder from actual Manitoba, the province Manitoba. Right. Uh, they farm a lot and they do hemp seed and you can get uh, hemp seed as a ton of nutrition. So that's just one aspect of it uh, for sure. But hemp is much different than what we've just been talking about as far as the uh, hemp will save the world. I'll put it hey, that way. How about that? You know what? Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll make a case for it right now. First of all, you like your hemp shakes, Grambo? What's up? You think you'd eat this? Uh, I yeah. would nibble. You would never eat this, Grambo. <laughs> Dude, with now when he's down, it's a hemp burger and it's just... Yeah, scroll down if you would. Just look at the recipe. She's just like, substitute half the beef with seeds. Oh, and Just put hemp seeds in there, and it's a... Uh, Weird. Manitoba harvest shelled hemp seeds. There you go. Uh, that's bread. That's, that's so it's bread. She's doing half uh, to one pound of, of, of meat, and then she's putting in one cup that's of, a lot. of... Oh, it's still got like meat in it. Yeah, it's just a burger yeah. with uh, seed added. It's It'd be right. great. I'm going to try this, actually. Yeah. You're I right. You will. I'm gonna, yeah, I bet you will. I'll, t- I'll take a nibble. <laughs> okay, so do me a favor. I'm sorry. Have you had hemp milk, though? This is a thing. It's pretty big. <laughs> All of a sudden, I, now I'm not a no. buyer. <laughs> um, expensive. I've, oh, my God. What the heck? Don't be Jesus. No. Sorry. I don't <laughs> know. Man. It's it's content on that. Man. <laughs> it's too close to animal forage. That does look like, uh, yeah. That looks what do like you mean? Silage. It looks like just something you would feed the cows with or something. <laughs> like a grain. Yeah. Oh, I I use in instead hemp protein Shakes. powder. I use a oat bale, oat based milk, the trendy oat milk. I, I could give this a try. I hope this is for a half case or something. Fifty five. It looks like it is for a case. Yeah. Grab a click. Click the next one. It's yummy. Like this AI rendering looks great. Real. <laughs> yeah, this is, I found this. Hemp milk uh, doesn't taste like crap pudding <laughs> or glue. One of those is delicious. I got to be honest. Uh, I, I, I needed to know that. Yeah, it's an interesting headline, though. I didn't read much past the headline, <laughs> but yeah. I know it's strange. We don't have to get into it. I'm, I'm not anti-dairy. I love my cheese, but I don't use milk for anything anymore that you're 
you're n- using another animal's like milk that they produce for themselves or their babies. And then it's crazy, man. Man. that's why I use human milk. Yeah. That concept. Yeah, yeah me creepy. too, man. <laughs> Squeeze fresh <laughs> daily. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I say that. Why'd you say human milk? Did you see the next thing that's up? You guys ever hear of a wet nurse? No. <laughs> I had a dry nurse. No. Uh, Sorry. Spoiler, what do you got next? Uh, they just talk about, you know, hemp being the perfect food. And it kind of reminds me, remember Soylent Green? Remember, so- <laughs> it reminded me of Soylent, first of all, man. There is a product called Soylent. It's a couple, it's a couple, uh, that. Grambo, click on that. It's, and there is a product. It's like, I don't know if it has He's got a dab ass, right? bro. <laughs> that does look like that, right? But it's so weird, man. They keep on trying to come up with the perfect food. That's why, like, the hemp milk reminded me of it, man. But it's creepy. I thought it was those shakes that, like, old people will get at Walgreens. Like, you stock up on some of those. Yeah. It's supposed to be, like, this perfect food. That's all you need to drink. And I just... I don't know how it came up. I was Googling like hemp milk and hemp stuff and Soylent came up and I was like, how could you name? I'm a business owner. I make bad business decisions all the time, but Graham Bo- like that. Doesn't- Soylent Green is people. It was a poster <laughs> that was everywhere in the 70s. I, a me. I love people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, doesn't Soylent sound like something that would just flow through you? Yes, it's, t- yes, it's a bad name. It sounds like a bad name. It has a bad kind of t- yeah. Anyway, man. So I just uh, I stumbled upon Soylent, and I just want to tell them to please give up, please stop. Yeah, it does sound like something like you go to the doctor, like, well, well as soon as we drain some of the Soylent out, it's you, terrible. Oh uh, it's terrible. <laughs> drain. You're gonna just drain it <laughs> out of you. Oil, oil it filled. Oh, shit. assist your Soylent assist. Yeah. Happy Saturday morning, everybody. <laughs> But you know, to, uh, for real, the next one here, hempcrete, man. Hempcrete yeah. um, is awesome. The building with hemp, um, hemp uh, can replace and make plastics, biodegradable alternatives to plastics. I think a lot of the roadblocks to this stuff is infrastructure, the way systems are already set up, the big money that's out there. Um, even down to harvesting equipment in the fields, man. Like that's still yeah. being innovative. New machines are coming to be able to harvest thousands and thousands and thousands of acre of hemp to get all that in place um, will be great. I've seen the coolest video with hemp. They put up a brick of hemp, uh, just solid, compressed, it's really cool. tight hemp, and they it's have like cool. a torch on it at the trade show for like right. hours. And it's just, it doesn't catch on fire, barely burns, like as far as its ability to have another, you know, that's fire retardant is huge in building materials. Um, I hope people were doing dabs off, off that torch the whole time. Shh. Shh. <laughs> it's I was I was wondering if this is in Canada and they're building igloos. It looks like you can't call them that anymore, dude. You can't call them that anymore? You can't call them Are you igloos. serious? No, I'm kidding. I don't know what you can call it anymore. That's a brand name. <laughs> you want to get sued? <laughs> dude, that is Some so hell. cool. Yeah, man. Man. Structures. Look at that. Hey, this one's cool. They're amazing. Modern house building. I mean, there was a lot. It's of got this. a lot more flexibility than, uh, or not flexibility, but you can do more with it than concrete. I I don't like know. shapes and stuff, structure what kind of stuff. Mean, I'm looking at this on concrete. Concrete's pretty cool. Before we continue on, let me throw in a shout out here because it is still a little bit earlier in April. And uh, we got Scenes Here Now sales every month in April's a big one. Scenesherenow.com forward slash sales. We got 20% off compound genetics cookies as well as free shipping and a whole bunch of 420 deals. I can't even list them all here. If you go to scenesherenow.com forward slash sales every month in the beginning of the month. Don't miss out on the big sales. And if you don't remember that, dogrows.com forward slash pros where all our pros are listed with the coupon codes. Save you money for your growth. All right. Yeah. Dude, check this one out, man. Hemp plastic. Pretty cool, right? I like it. Yeah, it's it's actually, probably my favorite thing. It's not that cool. I was reading the details and it, it's like 25% like hemp plastic and 75% like regular plastic. So... Ah, uh, they're cutting okay. a little bit. That's how that works. That's yeah, usually though. It's still anything we can do. I was just looking at pictures before the show of the great plastic gar- garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean, which is like sturdy enough to walk on, all made of plastic. Just where all the currents that come together great. and shit. And, yeah, soon enough, you can buy real buy real estate there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but. Yeah, anything we can mix in to reduce our, you know, plastic use. And I'm not 
shizzing on it. Like I said, I tried to be cool and buy an all metal hand watering can made in the Netherlands that was like $65 in the whole city of the bottom of it within two seasons. My plastic ones I've had for eight years now, still rock. Right. Right. So, but the blending them, I'm all for it, man. Anything we can do to help out with that, as well as just growing hemp in general, is a better way to to implement this. 100% plant based, commercially compostable, polylactic acid resin blended. I like it. Yeah, it is neat. It is neat, but they are blending it right now. Probably again has to do with I don't know the politics of plastic. Obviously, there's big money because plastic is it's making its core ingredient is oil correct yes yes yeah and i think there's some money involved in that from what i've heard (laughs) for now hey you want to beat the oil uh the fuel crisis get yourself a bicycle man a little hemp bicycle no i like that since no (laughs) i see bamboo on there oh that's pretty cool huh what it's 3d printed yes trust it No. <laughs> Onyx. I, it's funny. I was just looking up Onyx last night. Really? Yeah. Would you be would you be at wanna be on that going fast? Is that a bamboo seat post? Is that what it is? Are you worried? Oh, it does look now. like bamboo, doesn't it? I don't know, man. Oh, maybe it's hemp wrapped, bamboo hemp wrapped or something. They make bamboo bicycles. I seen those. Hmm. That's kind of a trip, right? Yeah, no, that's their strength, man. This is the canvas plant test Hessel. That's how they wrote. I was actually shopping ropes the other day. Hensel strength. Yes, that's terrible. Tens- the synthetic. And when I was looking up poly rope, um, a lot of uh, even on Amazon, there's a lot of people marketing hemp rope and the fact of how strong it is. And we've gone. If we think about the history. I don't have it all fresh on the top of my head. From back in the day, we used hemp for so much fabric, ropes. Yeah. Um, I mean, all kinds of stuff. I mean, even we can use it to replace anything like when you see what's going into for paper towels, um, paper. We just featured toilet. No, that was CBD toilet paper. I don't know if hemp toilet paper might be too rough. What do you think? Have you tried any? <laughs> Maybe. Might be a little rough. It's a, it's a 20 grit. <laughs> I don't know. Would you, would you ride this bike, dude? You're that's, the bike guy. That's why you add the CBD. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, right. it helps the roughness. I buddy. My buddy brought bought a bamboo framed um like commuter type road bike and this and it's I see what they're doing. It's cool to so get the concept out there, but again, and it's just about being trendy. Like you're the guy. Yeah. Look, my bike's made of hemp. You know what I mean? Functionality wise, you know, you can go get yourself an aluminum one or a carbon one probably for a bit cheaper and, and be all right. Although yeah. carbon frames with bikes aren't as uh, recyclable. So Yeah, but you're sequestering that carbon, dude. All right. Yes, yes. Uh, it's like a, a car, bro. Would you want to drive in a hemp car? That was almost a thing. Or it was a thing, rather. Uh, look at that. Isn't that crazy? From 19, 1941, Henry Dear- Ford built a car out of plastic from hemp. Dearborn, Michigan. <laughs> it ran on hemp fuel. Yep. Dude, 1941 bioplastic Model T was made out of hemp, flax weed, and spruce pulp, which made the car wow. louder than fiberglass. How do you realize that he couldn't make any money on it? Yeah, no, you know what? They made it illegal at in like 1947, whenever they made hemp illegal or marijuana. And really? Yeah, and he couldn't do it. That's anymore. what killed it? Yeah. Yeah. I love they put a dinosaur what? on there. So. <laughs> well, nah, and it's not really dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh-huh. hey, hit, hit this video afterwards, Grambo. Uh, is it on this page? Uh, oh, no, right up de- next to it. Like it. Yeah, this is him. <laughs> Amongst the thousands of products made from him, one of them is great if a big you roll down the windows a lot of get it. Yeah, the smoke. smoke. <laughs> there was one picture with a big weed leaf on the side superimposed. <laughs> and wheat straw. What's this for? This is what I love. It was lighter than steel. It we need you to beat on the Elon Elon car. Hack. Without denting. That's pretty crazy. This is from the 40s, man. Awesome. It's cool, oh, right? Man. Amazing. Yeah. More of that. We need more of that. Amazing how it is just killed. Uh, is that yeah. that's, this is Scott in the back? <laughs> Dude, when I googled hemp car, this came up. Hempcar.org. Org. This is the only page on the whole website. What happens when you hit continue? You can go to their index. Can't. 
<laughs> but seriously, it's cool. Wait, that oh, I thought it was that. Okay, Canada Hemp Oil Canada. Would you think this was made in this century, or is this from the nineties? This website. Uh, I hate that the nineties isn't the century. Is it an AOL? Is this made with like? publisher or something it's amazing though but this car is powered by hemp remember hemp you can take hemp seed oil extract the fuel out of it you sure yes, me. yeah and make uh biodiesel yeah i just thought it was hemp, hemp eth- ethanol or methanol can come from fermented stock we talked about on the live show i think it was jr there was like we're talking about all the medicinal values of cannabis to a degree. And he's like, sure. there's some saying about how this plant was like gifted to us from another galaxy or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, like back in the day, let's give the humans a plant that can save, save everything. You can use it for so many things. And we kind of like are half ass in it. We were, we were more, you know, and it's just weird. Yo, I believe it, man. My wife came back from New Mexico. She took a trip to New Mexico. She's just showing me how like, it's all like, you know, whatever, just soil, you know, kind of crappy soil. And then there's just a few miles where it's just white sand, just white freaking sand. And like, what else could have happened other than a meteor or some giant thing came down and smashed in the earth right there? That was made out of white silica. Ocean dried up. You think so? An ocean dried up? Damn, you probably took geology in college, didn't you, man? No, I didn't take it in college. I don't. I think it was an aliens, man. And there was a weed plant on there. Yeah. Thank you. Well, the ocean dried, and then the the then the <laughs> comet the, the comet came, came yeah. with the cannabis seeds. Yeah, I believe mine. Like it? Well, remind everybody, man. If you're hanging, having a good time, you've been enjoying our Saturday shows, having a laugh. Please comment, give us a like, and subscribe. You know, nice. you know got some comments. Comments coming up um, helps spread the channel. Out, know what we're up to here. And I did want to, I guess it's off subject. Can I ask, um, just a quick grow talk. I heard you guys before the show, but banners getting the cut, the cut 47 days to completion. Is that what I heard? Yeah. You can chop it at 47 days. It says 48. I thought, yeah, 48. I've had a 47 day plant, but it was back in the day when you could sell things with clear track. <laughs> well, this is okay. So just one other qualifier there. It is, uh, has some, uh, Afghan in it. For okay. sure. Sure. So that doesn't surprise me a ton. Um, and uh, it's from a uh, hash maker. Um, right. So that also doesn't surprise me because the chops a bit early for yeah. the terps. They don't want amber terps. Yeah. So no like, amber terps, man. Or amber dry. <laughs> <It> does. <laughs> it does great cyber name. Amber Hi, terps. I'm amber terps. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I love her already. I actually met a girl when I was out and I was debating whether I was going to engage with the process. She goes, hi, my name's Indica. And I was like, Indica, my name's oh, Grambo. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's trouble right there. <laughs> it was trouble. <laughs> um, What's the strain name? Uh, I think it's the moose or it's either the moose or the modified. Yeah, modified moose, I believe is what to, it right. Was. But they go into Red Rocks this year, I thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, saw yeah. modified new <laughs> stuff went up for NPG. Yeah, float on, bro. Uh, cool. Well, let, let us know how it turns out. Yeah, man. so it, it, it'll be cool for um, the local gromies that like to throw a couple plants outside. Yeah. I got a bunch of buddies that don't run indoor anymore, but they like throwing a couple out in their backyard. Really? Yeah. You know what? I wonder how that'll squeeze. If you just get a giant plant in your backyard that's 12 feet big, I wonder if it'll, if you'll get something that I'm sure you would. Yeah. Why not? I wonder how you would do with it. But it's nice and wow. small and finishes fast. So it might be ideal for out here or, you know, sure. before the snow hits. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't like it. Well, typically where I am and where you're at, you outdoor, except, well, whatever. We'll just throw in a little girl talk here. I don't know why I feel guilty about it. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, the uh, yeah, August 15th is when I say you're about two weeks into flower. So then you still have another 47 days. Dude, outdoors, autos all the way. If you're not in a tropical climate or something, that's where I'm like with all my experience. I want to harvest in. Heck, why not? Why don't I just set my harvest date for August 3rd? I can do that with autos. You know what I mean? To a degree. Not to be the exact date. That's a great way to finish outside. Um, that's what I recommend, Banner. Give your buddies some autos. I will. And by the way, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, give a shout out to uh, JLS Monster 3's Genetics. Uh, he is the breeder and uh, source of that cut that we're talking about. Yes. Um, so he's a local guy. He's he's bred it. He runs it himself outside. And so um, 
It's kind of cool, man. Uh, I will tell you that just for uh, any kind of plants, we've always had the most success with getting stuff that's local and acclimatized versus, you know, getting it from like a store or whatever. Right. So pretty excited to have uh, the opportunity to do yeah. that with a local cannabis variety, yeah. uh, like actually bred for outdoor growing. No That's really cool. He was thinking that last Saturday, oh. if you don't know. I would like to ask that to the breeder. What does that mean? Okay, I bred this to be grown outdoors. I'm not, I'm like halfway calling you out on that. The only thing, sure, finish is quicker. That's of help. But otherwise, what is a plant going to distinguish the difference between this nice indoor grow room or outdoor, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying you have the answer quicker, to that. Quicker but. finish, bro. No, literally quicker okay. finish. And I don't want to speak for him. I don't want to imply that that was his only goal. I'm just saying that his keeper of um, these, you know, genetics that he bred, there's a, there's a few different sources. We'll probably need to get him back on the show and he can give you all the details. But I know that it's got an unknown yeah. indica and an Afghan in it at least. And so I, I'm assuming that's where the short, you know, finish time comes from. And that just works out well because he's a, a local grower. He's a half hour from here. Yeah. And so um, when he's selecting stuff, I mean, that's pretty darn close, you know, to our climate and everything. So that's why I'm saying I think it's it's exciting. It's just been him selecting it for uh, three years now um, and uh, taking the ones yeah. that, that finish fast and, and that also are, you know, quality. PM resistant. There's some other things I think come to mind for outdoor plants that are of value. Um, all right. Well, you got your shout out. I'm a shout out to some DDC producers here, like a JM Blackwater 226R. What's up? Easy does it for 20 <laughs> and shotgun, shotgun Yoda. How you doing? I'm not sure what that means, but I like Yoda. He's like the Yoda of shotguns. That is weird. Pouring the trigger, it does. <laughs> you don't know what that means. <laughs> Mr. Quick. You can imagine what that means. <laughs> Mr. Quick and Mr. Dad. That's a 47-day finish right there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the Danish Dank Man. What's up? And Fro... I, I, bear, come on. What do you got? Fro Danibus Groganics? Fro Danibus Gro... Fro Danibus. Uh, it's very cool. Thank you for the support, y'all. I thought you were going to say Mr. Quick, the Danish tank man. Not bad. All right. Not that, bad. that works. That works. Yeah. Some ch- well, actually, mm-hmm. be in town in uh, three days and 420 is uh, next weekend. Actually, a week away, guys, from today. Yeah. So I think we are planning a future hang, man. If you're Colorado DDC or in the front range, hit us up. You can use the uh, contact on dudegrows.com. If you're Patreon, Pedusa, just message me over there. Message me over there for whatever you got going on. I see, actually, we got one of our producers. Um, did they make a meme, Scotty? Is this what you put on here? Yeah, man. <laughs> there was quite a few good memes. <clears throat> this is a Midmo Grower. And this was pretty cool, oh, man. Yeah, it says, for my plants, yo. Optimus, the glass is half full. Pessimist, the glass is half empty. And for plant lovers, this is for my uh, plants. It's a clone in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. I love it. I love yeah, it. Uh, yeah, we cool. got our 10 year um, anniversary as well. So thank you, DDC producers, coming up here the 23rd of the Dude Grows show. And none of this has been possible without you guys coming on at dudegrows.com forward slash real DGC. So be a real DGC, man. We've helped you grow. You've had a laugh. The benefits of your grower pay for themselves tenfold. Thank you, real growers. All right. All right. <clears throat> Who out of us has had a Delta 8? gummy or smoked delta eight grandbo i'm looking at you i smoked uh some pens came in uh, to a friend of mine and, okay so i hit it just to try it i wanted to see it was a uh, rainbow belts it was even had a strain on it and everything i was like you don't want to try it it just tasted like chemically hey i did not care no, about zero did it get you high well i'm all you know it's tough to tell uh, you really didn't <laughs> notice anything though it all blends together you know what i was uh I was thinking that the weirdest thing, you know, we're talking about the weirdest things that can be made out of hemp. Yeah. Might be Delta 8. Could be. You know, that is something weird. They, I'm, I was Googling it, and it is what I thought, man. They're taking, uh, like, a really strong acid, and then they're diluting it down and taking this acid, and they're doing some kind of chemical reaction that's changing the CBD. The Delta it's one eight. less. It's, I mean, it doesn't seem it's real. one less. I feel like I'm yeah. being cheated. He's like, how dare you take me out of that? What is going on? That is an angry bear. Don't make me <laughs> out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bee. 
I took a Delta 8 gummy before going on a run. Things got weird. Real weird. There you go, Banner. Uh, it says, once I'd, eat, once I'd eaten the gummy, I went for a run and things quickly went south. I suddenly felt like my left leg was going to snap in half at the knee like a wishbone. Oh, no. That was oh, weird. Um, so, And this just looks, sounds like it's a paranoia. So it says, that wasn't the only thing making me paranoid. A couple hours after taking the gummy, a friend came over to borrow a book. And I was convinced it was the most awkward interaction of my life. <laughs> so this is like when you're really high... You accidentally get too high, maybe on an edible or something, and like, let's say, I don't know, like your landlord pops in for a visit, or just people if you're not ready or don't want to have the conversation. Sober people. Yeah, this 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 guy sounds like you just took an edible. That's kind of what this is. What my every day is. Like. <laughs> when he, welcome to my life. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, uh, it's it also says I'm not a regular cannabis user, so this sounds like a classic paranoia that can come from THC. You're thinking too hard, you know, about shiz or just you know, like you feel like you forgot you're high. <laughs> I remember my ex would always uh she'd want to take edibles and she'd always ask me the funniest question. She'd go, I can't tell if I'm high or sleepy. And I go, Have you ever been sleepy and questioned if you're high? I was like, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. a thing high people <laughs> say. <laughs> Am I high or sleepy? That's what stone people say. <laughs> Scroll down, Rambo. Uh, Let's see. I got to see if I trust this this website. Uh, how, there's a lot of words. <laughs> there is stoner patch. For the Empire. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I love it. Great pun. Oh, well, we'll see, man. Good food for thought. Yeah. You I feel bad. Delta. I feel kind of bad for people that are doing that. I kind of like that they use the triangle for Delta. The prohibition does. I know. I, that's why I feel yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I saw that container said 500 milligrams THC. So those were probably, I don't know, 10 milligram, milligram pieces. Regardless, it's straight THC from some synthetic process. It's exactly why you're getting this weird paranoia. You have yeah, no other compounds, no terpenes, no entrepreneur's effects. Like, I can totally see that. Just like hit a high THC distillate pen or whatever, same things happen to me. I mean, is that better? I mean, do we, would we rather have people using this? No. no. No, that's why. That's why it's so legal. messed up, man. You know, yeah, it really is wrong, man. You need to you need to legalize it so you don't have to do. That's with ridiculous. This. <laughs> Speaking of CBD is legal. Grambo, would you wear this shirt? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'd wear this at the cup. Oh, would you wear that shirt? I don't care if CBD is legal or not. That shirt is in. I don't like the nutrient deficiencies in these leaves, though. <laughs> I was, you know, I was cruising. <laughs> this the middle leaf needs some nitrogen, bro. I was, uh, I was looking at uh, articles and one of them just showed the coolest looking half light and half dark leaf. It was like the TMV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, they were just, uh, they were, isn't this cool? Like albino or something? Oh, my God. Who, who's got my, can, can, go, sorry. Go ahead, Banner. Who, who's got my cannabis nutrient deficiency t-shirt? Yeah, right. A guy. <laughs> it's a good one. I made, right? For a shirt. What I, 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 I would want to I need some advice. For Facebook, it's got me thinking the CBD dealer shirt because recently harvested, you know, I'd like to share. And I see Facebook ads straight up. I see people putting up ads selling mushrooms, like psychedelic mushrooms. I don't know how long they stay up. Um, So like maybe just in, we have a private neighborhood group. Is it against policy for me to put up a CBD, a quality uh, CBD (laughs) orange gas I'm available. Do your homework. CBD. (laughs) A little, a little wink emoji, and then I'm right. good to go. I'm like, where, is it, is it oh, time for yeah. that in this day and age? I think I, so. that THC a loophole. I have a better idea. You just take a jar of it and just crack it open on your porch, and just they'll. Oh find yeah, it. wait for the neighbors to show. Yeah, anyone who's anyone interested outside. in that smell will come. Come. <laughs> it's like putting a pie on the windowsill. You're right. <laughs> right. Awesome. I'm going to try it. What is the, uh, fa- do I need to worry about my Facebook account? I don't really care. I guess. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. yeah. Don't uh, talk to me after the show, man. Not a good idea. Chill out. Right. Sucks. I'm good. I'm good. It's, Scotty, it's CBD. You understand. Okay. I just wear that shirt. You should be fine. All right. <laughs> Dude, it, it, anybody, you're the closest guy, Banner, to being a golfer. Do you golf? Not anymore. No, but I used to. And there are some stoners that play golf, right? Oh, yeah, There's for sure. That smoke. Oh, Remember you're yeah. a John Daly dude. He's a drinker. No, he's some not. like all of my friends love to go, get baked and go to Top Golf and just ring it out. Is that what the deal is? Yeah, I don't believe it's, Yeah, I don't understand it at all, but teach their own. It's like a gun range for golf. <laughs> there's definitely, there's definitely <laughs> a split. 
There's definitely like your yeah, stoner golfers, man. and then there's your drinker golfers. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes got, they intermix. There, I tell you what, man, Grambo, click this next one. This is Puffington's on golf. All right. There's a lot of stoner golfers. Enough to have a website. <laughs> enough to have a T one I was about to say a great is that a T one. That oh, is a one e that looks like a T, and then it has a golf ball that you pack. Oh, oh that's awesome, God. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kick ass. That's super cool. Well, wow. I guess there's plenty of you put your weed in it. You put your weed in wow. it, bro. Uh, that's hilarious. Puffington. I know, right? That's awesome. Bro. That's marked down. So it's a long coffee cup. I love it. I don't think that. I, have I know. I'm going through it. I was like, I <laughs> what else you got here, Puffington? No. Man, it was, I can't, how do you smoke out of that, man? I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, the last one I got, dude. This is just cool. I could see Grambo doing this all. Yeah, I used to sell these back when I worked at a dispensary. Remember Banaka back in the day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yes. You had an Eve spray of Banaka in middle school, had five milligrams of THC. <laughs> wasn't, be at the end of it. wasn't that a good way to like throw off a breathalyzer? Because that stuff was like all alcohol. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Oh, that. that's smart. Yeah. And you're right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm ready, officer. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you just blew a point eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so this is been basically a, a, a cannabis tincture that's just got a nice nozzle that aerosolizes it. Pretty sweet. I guess kind of neat. That's all. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, if young Scotty, who was uh, a stoner, can see the future, right? Like, yeah, you'll just get banaka, but it'll have weed in it. I love that you've labeled all the THC banaka spray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Carl's into the same category as the Delta A nummies. The snipe system would be not an effective high, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd have to have a lot of sprays of that. <laughs> you would be trying to figure out how to bust the cap off so you could just Three empty the whole thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just taking shots. That's funny, man. Or we take it to comments. I'm going to feature another pro here for you guys, man. If you're spraying in your grow, check out Optic Foliar Transport. The effective way to spray with the lights on, get it right into the mesophilic layer. You don't need to spray the underside of your leaves. And also your valuable spray solutions, IPM products, you can use at quarter strength. So save money, get that transport into your leaves. Check out opticfolio.ca's other products or holler at your local hydro store or come to the DDC Cup. They'll be there, guys. Another vendor at the DDC Cup. Nice. DDCcup.com. Don't miss out. Just get yourself some Opticfolio lawyer. Nice. All right. Dude, taking care of business. <laughs> like, yo. Uh, let's hit it. Comments, man. We got, uh, this is uh, planting masses. On, or here, you take this. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> this one is about the solar eclipse. Did you catch the eclipse, dude? Did it, was it? No, it was, uh, no, no, no. Uh, it was raining. Raining. Right? Oh, I took a welding mask and looked up at the uh, at the eclipse. It was cool. You could see a little, little cutout out of it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, City Gone Country 150. And they say, we had a total eclipse in, in Buffalo. Loved it, but it was too played out up until the event. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> we had 100 mile an hour winds here on Saturday. And, and they told us it was coming on Friday. And I'm like, I don't believe anything the news says. And then sure enough, they showed up. Yeah. I did prepare, thankfully. Um. Uh, it says, uh, loved it, but it was too played out up until the event. I didn't know this, but there is such thing as wind caused by the eclipse. Yes. Yeah. I know all That's about this. Wow. Yes. Is that what it was? Mm. So the it's when dif- different elevations heat and cool in different things, all of the pressure will force all that cold wind down. That wind was ridiculous. You're right. And it was the day before the eclipse. Trim. That's so trippy. Wow. It says, makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense. The temperature... T- changes quickly which causes the air to shift i felt it the birds went nuts too cool experience i took cuts i took cuts to clone that <laughs> and i'm calling the eclipse weed lol jk uh, <laughs> here is a dgc question if i was growing outdoor weed during an eclipse then would the light interruption potentially cause the plant to develop male pollen sacs <sighs> Uh, I say no because it's such a short thing that the plant really doesn't have enough time to shift or sleep and then awake again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're good. Well, yeah, if, but- if it worked the other way, if the sun came out during the night, right. then that would be a problem. It's but- a stressor, you know. <laughs> I like how he says, like, the birds 
went nuts too. Like when you're around animals that all of a sudden, like they think they have it sense you're like why like a horse or a dog that starts like getting really yeah. concerned like, what do you know that i don't know yeah. Instead, I hate that. yeah there's a great channel it's got a cheesy name it's called smarter every day yeah you know but it's got a awesome eclipse videos you can learn everything you ever wanted to learn he, he's an eclipse nerd i recommend it wow yeah get a little smarter every day yeah, yeah it's, i hate telling people the name but you know he's a he's a literal rocket scientist that started what are you a rocket scientist he really is uh, does that one have the animations no, no. Is uh, that Kurtz Gazard in a nutshell? Okay. You, YouTube. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. This did remind me when he said he took clones uh, that day, the day of the eclipse. Uh, Menguante is planting by the phases of the moon, and it is a thing. And, you know, if you Google it or just Google planting by the phases of the moon, you'll see. Ooh, found this. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a thing. Lunar garden. Look like, like the farmer's yeah, growing the moon. Some of that. You want to sow seeds uh, on the new moon. You want to plant, fertilize, and graft. Huh, interesting. The quarter moon, you want to sow, plant, and prune. That's interesting, right? When's the best time to sow seeds? Uh, Eddie. Nothing. No, just kidding. I knew. <laughs> no, uh, spoken like a true killer. I don't know. Well, it, it it actually makes like scientific sense, right? Like if we agree that VPD can can affect plants, right? And then the moon affects how pressure differentials right. across the globe works. Well, right off the bat, I mean, I'm leaning into guests. You trust anybody that says scientific? No. <laughs> did I say scientific? Oh, come on, scientific. Oh, Grandma, you're actually <laughs> smart, brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, my wife, we're using the scientific um, fertility by phases of the moon for birth control. And then we had our first son unplanned. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that sounds scientific to me. <laughs> <Scientifical> AF. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shoot, man. Well, hey, a lot of good talk on terpenes. Yeah. Terpenes. Yeah. What was our last live show? I believe we were discussing. If you missed it, you missed out. Click on that live tab on the channel. Go check it out. We had a great panel. This is Tron Lives. Nice. That was it. <laughs> Wait, Grambo, you do this one, man. It's Come like, on, your best rock. The, like the rock. The rock, man. Uh, dropping the people's elbow on the terpene jabronis of the world. That's not the rock. Not bad. But it's not bad, man. That's what we're going for. Spot jabronis. Uh, <laughs> he says jabronis. Right? Right? That's a very uh. Uh, what is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He said jabronis. But yeah, it's always sunny. Philadelphia has made it kind of okay. their thing. Yeah, well, yeah. I heard. I like that. He's he's wrestling again. The Rock. Mike Tyson's Mike fighting Rock. again. So whatever, whatever. You know. All right. I thought maybe he was going to go for president too. He, he should do that all in time. He should wrestle again while running for president. How is that? Thing is? Look how look at this. The top story about the Rock returning to the ring by the CBC. Oh, okay. <laughs> Canadian broadcasting uh, number one. Was, they're making a push over there. The Rock would win if he ran for president. <laughs> uh, big right. Canada is supporting Big Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. They were talking just about terpenes. Jet Dennis Kirch. Says, uh, I know it got basically passed over, but what dude was saying about terps near the beginning is pretty cool. It would make sense that some terps would attract beneficial insects while others would repel insects that are harmful to the plant. Yeah, yeah. That, that is that is a, I bet you that uh, I know that that's got to be what it's for. Right. I mean, to make it to get sticky into those trichomes to attract pollen. But the terpenes have to be to attract or repel certain animals. No. Or bug and plant. And a lot of bug yeah. animals will, and they want to transport their seeds by you eating it, and then you'll defecate it out across the world too. So some right. sometimes they want you to actually consume it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was in it. Uh, did humans do stuff with scents? We don't have to go into detail. <laughs> animals, like pheromones, yeah. like across the board. So it's pretty interesting. Okay. We got Mr. Pub and stuff commenting on we discussed fake terpenes and terpene sprays and yeah. trying to put sprays on weed and Mr. Poppin stuffs is a close friend of mine and an allergic reaction almost died. Oh God. From smoking that botanical derived fake terpene garbage. They spray on spray on flowers and extracts. And the sad thing is they don't tell the customer the strawberry flavored flower they're buying has fake strawberry sprayed on it. Now <laughs> that's kind of intense. Yes, but that's just, yeah. 
Man, you're just... You a, gotta know that you had strawberry tasting weed. If you're spraying anything on know. buds, you're a POS. Yeah. And uh, a good rule okay. of thumb is if it tastes too good to be true, it probably yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm laughing. What I'm laughing at isn't that your buddy had the allergic reaction. It's that fake strawberry terps. Gotta taste fake as all hell when you smoke it. There's I, no I just want to counter... Yummy. <laughs> counter tanner and say, if you had something to spray on weed... That had no negative health effects. What tasted do you mean? Who's good. Who's testing that? And you, who's testing that? I, I didn't say that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Let's say it is, and it's proven. We know there's a good product. Then I say, let people do what they want to do. Just like my buddy here, Moose, working today on my kid's bike ramp. I see he's you got a, a bong. Too? First thing, Moose. Yes, before he gets to work, he, you know, his car's parked and he's got a bong. It's kind of a Canadian thing. He's just <laughs> ripping out of the bong. I'm like, hey, nice. you enjoying some orange? orange gasm in there huh or what he's like yeah i mix a little tobacco too i'm like huh like, I, was, uh, I wanted to judge but it's like man somebody wants to spray some shiz on their weed if it's you know people know yeah. it's a tested product we know it's safe then i'm for it i'd rather smoke fake okay. terps than tobacco yeah. i think you should yeah, if you want to spray weed. weed you do it on your own time bro you don't sell it yeah so yeah, that's what, exactly. I, I agree with you there as well. I don't want people to get confused and we get a, a platform. I'm not saying do it. That I don't. If you want to spray shit it. on your weed, I don't care, but don't sell it to somebody. Man, you change, yeah, dude. That's, that's in Colorado, the they banned uh, spraying edibles. They used to take regular gummies and spray a THC kind of slurry onto them. Right. You can't even spray food braced oh. products Good. in Colorado. Good. Yeah. Don't spray weed, yeah. man. All right. None of that. No spraying, man. <laughs> yeah. A uh, Billabong 42 uh, has a good point. The craft industry, I'm sorry, the craft beer industry is also flavoring beer with extract terps too. That would make sense, right? I can totally see that. Do you think that people build up a tolerance to terps? Uh, yeah, you build up tolerance. I to guess everything. that's why you build up a tolerance to certain weed, right? Yeah, just like strains. smells, smells, you get nose blind. Do we need to just keep like adding more and more and more and more terps? Yes. Or or we just change change terps often enough that we rebuild our, you know. I got a gallon of terps, man. Oh, these are, I want to know more about that. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna have a lot to learn in the next year, Banner. Oh man. I want to tell you guys to freshen up your gear if you're coming. If you didn't know, DGCCup.com, June first. Yeah. Over seventy strains entered. Thirty vendors. Vendor tables sold out. Biggest tent ever yet, man. This event is going to be dope. For real, you can say that. It's going to be dope, it is literally. It's going to be dope. Um, you can and, say, say dope like AF, too, right? Dope AF. Yeah. Yeah. DAF. It's going to be yeah. daft. Dope AF, man. More than like half the vendors are, are breeders. This is going to be like a genetic <sighs> marketplace. So come getting ready to add to your stable. If you're a DDC producer at dudegrows.com forward slash real DDC, you get 20% off your ticket. So it pays for itself at $10 a month supporting the show and get some merch. Show up looking hip. Although we will have DDC Cup shirts and some merch there. But dudegrows.com forward slash shop. We still have some hoodies. We got three hat variations. The DDC lighter bundle that comes with a glass one hitter. Maestro's grow journal, pins, patches, trays. We do have merch. We don't talk about it enough. So dudegrows.com forward slash shop to get some of that fresh gear. Hey, and if yes. anybody anybody's interested in some dude style flip flops, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we can get those made like that. <laughs> really? What? I wear no. flip flops almost 365. Yeah, we. Were I know. Just, we were That's why we, we need. We're gonna see if anybody else is interested in dude grows flip flops. Yeah, we want to see how the demand is. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me know. I'm in. I'll take four pair. I'll take four. Noted. All right. Hey. Can I give some growers love to the panel? People uh, really enjoyed that panel show on Monday. It's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are. Those are cool guys. It's nice to just hang out with uh, uh, Hot Rod's awesome, hanging out with JR. It's just like and, an old uh, friend. YouTube and YouTube didn't take it down. So if you guys Hot enjoyed Rod. that, share it with a friend because you can. What please is... share it. We just decided we didn't care that day. We did a dirty show that made it dabs. through. So please share Hot that Monday yeah. live. That would <laughs> help us a lot. Hey, Ken and Mob Gardens agrees. Dude, Rasta Jeff is the best for knowledge. Oh, and definitely JR Token. Definitely. <laughs> I always like to say, the token has spoken. Ah, uh, but then he comes through <laughs> and says that Hot Rod looks like the Amish kids that decided not to follow the Amish religion. <laughs> I read that one. How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> Funny and true. Funny and true. God, he's have some good dabs, man. He that does. Was good. Yeah. Uh, dude... 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody caught this. Jones and to grow 617 said, Hey, Scotty, did your dog blast you with an aerosol ferment right at the end of the show? Your facial expressions and hand fanning were almost subtle. The dude abides. And JR Token says, I think Scotty got higher huffing dog's ass than he did up the dab from a hot rod. Dude, I, my dog was sitting right here he and just straight. killing him, man. Just killing like so bad that hot rod's over there. And he's like, oh. uh, Yeah, it was rough, man. <laughs> rough. Rough. It was rough. bad enough. Rough, <laughs> I probably would have... Nice. I probably would have called in edit if we weren't live. Right. Be like, I, I can't take that. <laughs> Oh, so God, yeah, that was good. Uh, so uh, one here regarding talking about a little drying and curing to keep terps. How do we keep our terps? And this is from Pro Bong 2053 it says, here's my question. Everyone talks so much about the curing process being the most important part. Well, what do you do if you cannot control temp or humidity levels perfectly to 60, 60, 60 humidity, 60 temperature? Is there a cost right. effective ways to control humidity and temp? I thought this was cool, right? <clears throat> sneak, I'll sneak a little grow talk in. Well, one, there's two things here. He said there's how to talk about the curing process. So the curing process means your stuff is in its final container mm. and it has already been the 60-60 drying process is done. Some people get those yep. confused. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that should be a lot body. easier to control. Um, but it's yeah, 60 degrees. So can't you turn your room, I'd say, down to mid-60s, even if you get it to 65, you know, keep it cold for a few days and... I'd say you probably need a little tent. You know, tents are cheap if you're just getting a little tent. But hang your plants in a little tent. Keep the room, you know, if you got a window unit or if you got uh, just one room that you can keep really cold, keep it cold for a week, What's 10 the, days. You need a tent with some type of small fan. You know, even the four inch duck booster, if you will, from AC Infinity is cheap and it has like 10 speeds on it. It's awesome because you could dial it to the most subtle, you yeah. know, or have a, the humidistat. You do want that. So if you zip yeah. everything up in the tent, you're going to be able to get your 60% humidity no matter what because those plants are drying and they're going to make that environment moist. You just need a quick exhaust. When it hits 60 and temperature-wise, yeah, like you said, that can be tough. People that live like in Phoenix or places where they just, yeah. I've always had a cool room in my house or a basement or somewhere. Otherwise, yeah. how would you, there's no cheat. There's no cheat for temperature. You can't have it be too hot. You can go up to upper no. 60s. It's not the end of the world. It's, yeah, mid-60s. <clears throat> I think I got my AC set to 68 in this room. So if I had to bring it down to 65, it's a little bit less. I was just thinking, how, how high can you turn your refrigerator? <laughs> you no, know? nah, but the refrigerator's got the wrong moisture. Nah, but it's jarred up at least, you know. All right, all right. But I tell you what, <laughs> if you do need, if it's too dry, I have left been lazy before and left my real buckets in there. And the moisture just wicks out from those things. Mm. And it is like a good natural, you don't want to humidifier blowing on you know mist on the plants but something like that just leaving a couple buckets of wet soil at yeah, the bottom of your true. tent uh, with my real bucket <laughs> i remove the lid of the reservoir bucket and it increases it probably five percent within a few minutes yeah oh. and hopefully pro bong that helped out and but yeah once you get above 70 to a degree if your plant is your plant start to dry in a week or less that's where you're going to probably start getting some yeah. really negative effects they that'll say, be the minimum they say like, 100 yeah. hours is the minimum that chlorophyll will break down represents about four and a half days yeah your, seven days minimum seven days is uh, is anything after that you got a chance you can get a good a good product out of yeah but try with the parameters you have and don't sweat it. Some people, sometimes it's just the dank is so stank, it, it, it works. It still works with a short dry. You know, we're giving you the, the optimal options, but you got to, you know, work. Don't, least don't not grow because of it. All right. Least you got to, uh, hey, a few more DGC producers here. I'm going to give it up to Tater. What's up, Tater? Tater. No, it sounds, doesn't Tater like country? Like, I'd like to be a country boy. Be oh, Tater. Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. And Scooby Dab and Doo, love it. Potato right here. Potato probably gave me this shirt, right? <laughs> <laughs> Baked potato. Don't forget Christopher Cush. Mm. Is that your real name? Is that your birth name? Yeah. You're a lot cooler if it was, right? <laughs> oh, I still got another. Uh, another. There was good there. memes, man. There was good memes. This is when you power smoke your way through an episode of Dude Grows. By Dale's Dankness. Uh, when you smoke every time Scotty says, man, on the dude grows show. <laughs> uh, what is this device he's smoking? That's a hookah, man. That's some crazy hookah. 
It is awesome. Shout out. Shout out to Dale's Dankness. Dankweedtees.com, guys, by the way. That is Dale's Dankness. And, uh, yeah. And follow him on Instagram. He's pro- prolific. This guy posts so many memes. Like, ev- twice a day, he posts something funny. Follow him on Instagram. He's, he's a good follower. <sighs> he said that, and then I started thinking about it. And my wife, I was talking to her, and I called her dude instead. I was like, dude, you should have seen this, dude. I'm like, uh, at least I don't call her man. <laughs> she, she appreciates that. <laughs> yeah. That's like, just a quick hit on that, too. Dale's, Dale's Dankness, DGC producer. He got a hold of us. He's like, hey, man, I'm just going to send you guys some tees. I'm starting a little t-shirt biz. You know, it's like, yeah, we love to promote work within the community. We also have, which I barely ever mentioned, on our pros list, man. We parked a couple new seed companies there. I don't know if the word parked is insulting. Mm-hmm. Um, but we like to build people up from within the community yeah, and right give them an option, you know, to be able to get their business going. And we've done that, done that quite a bit. So reach out. If you guys got something going on, we'd, we'd love to try and help. Um, all right, social media, dude. Fun stuff. This was, uh, yeah. I was doing my research, man, and Grandpa just clicked this. This is said, five weird products made from hemp. All right. That belt's not very weird, is it? No, that's like the, no, the most, most normal thing It ever. goes from less weird to more weird. All right. So just, yeah, just keep scrolling down. So it starts with the belt. That's not very weird. I wouldn't mind a hemp belt. What's yeah, next? What's the next one, man? Just more belts. Just belts no, on no, belts. Keep going. They get, they get weirder. Oh, yeah, rope, man. Strange fruit bowl. That is a strange fruit bowl with hemp rope. That oh, still doesn't seem very weird, does it? Oh, no. It's getting a little weird. Like That's the chair. I like, you like the chair. chair. This is dope. It's very modern. Can you get one of these? Are they stackable? Yeah, it looks, yeah. It's made in Canada, it says. Of course. Um, Big Canada. Getting... Wait so a now second. Now it's getting weird, right? Uh, now that's a hemp wrapped Wii remote. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that is a Wii remote. Hmm. Oh, like a Nintendo Wii. Yeah. Okay. I right know. Like, like I that. said, I used to wrap my lighters in hemp wick like this, so yeah. it kind of rings true. Yeah, so, okay. I'm going to take right. that as weird. And then it the just keeps getting is, weirder, man. Is this Guantanamo? That is Groony Hemp Art. <laughs> what is that? Uh, is that a face? I don't know. It looks like fingernails. I don't know what's happening. There's a person in there, though. Weirdness. This artist wants viewers to understand how a man is connected with animals. That's the Do you see it, Patty? I don't. <laughs> no, no. It looks like it's about to hop on a finger skateboard. I think he's an ostrich. It just got. Weird, I want to put that man. thing on a regular skateboard and then it would look like a hand skateboard thing. It'd be hilarious. Yeah. <coughs> There's my heart. Yeah. Anyway, I thought that was worth an honorable mention for Weird Hemp stuff. Sure. Oh, here's the article that I talked about but couldn't find. I don't know if I put this in here. Are you found it, Scotty? Plants scream yes. while they're being harvested. And Aww. I'm so bad. Thank you, DDC producer. I forgot he sent yeah, this. Yes, somebody sent this to us. I feel like a jerk. I forgot. But, yeah, oh yeah that's a it's bummer, right? Plants and akin to screams when they're distressed, according to a new study. They allegedly produce clicking noises that humans can't hear without the use of scientific equipment. That's horrible. I don't want to. It's horrible. It's Do you take them to, to tell the next friends, room? dude. You take them to the next room. You know, now we're going yeah. out for ice cream. You're fine, man. Right? Oh, my God. Who's that lady, Scott? Which one? <laughs> Remember? The, she has a oh, Yeah. Inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting away. I'm uh, glad people are happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, DM me if you want to know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, that's crazy. That is crazy. Do you take your plants out to another room before you chop them? Um, negative. Negative. They're, well, they're all getting chopped at once, so at least yeah, they'll go quick. What about uh, cloning? I was just in there cleaning the hell out of my mom yesterday, clipping the heck out of her. Can't feel so good. Good question. They yeah. like, they seem to like pruning. Yeah. Is that like a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> they seem to like it. Love it. They do. Yeah, they do. It's healthy. Your plan, it's like working plans, out. You they know? like it when you trim them up. Totally. That's what I did. Mom was looking tired. So you need a haircut, man. I need yeah, to clean it, you up. It gets a little unruly sometimes. Yep. Yep. It, it might feel like dropping weight, you know? It's like, I just feel lighter. 
Yeah, just thin it out, man. You can see that. Put some air in there. Whereas if you cut the fat out of me, I probably wouldn't be thrilled. All right. So we just made ourselves feel better about just constantly making plants scream? It's good for them, Good. Sweetie. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, you can't hear it, so you can just pretend it is. <laughs> <not happening. laughs> it's out of the par range. All right, so we got a $30 million cash heist, huh, on Easter. Dude, wow. I was reading this, and I just got a shout-out to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> shout-out to the robbers. Yes, here's why the $30 million Los Angeles heist on Easter could go unsolved. Hmm. Man, they, these um. guys, this super professional criminal organization, broke into like where they store like the Garda, you know, where they store the money, Uh huh. and they got away. Or it's an... And sorry, John. It doesn't matter. They got away. They're like, dude, we don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys. $30 million they got away with. Hmm. I think that's cool, what up? man. Well, how do you know where $30 million in, in cold heart? They're not mentioning anything in the article. Like, where do they just store $30 million cash? Because you work know, at the place. Right? In their house. I know. It's totally an inside job. You watch. Oh, funnily I, enough, a place that a lot of it goes is uh, high-level uh, drug flips. They'll buy massive quantities of fensible items and then wash the money amongst, you know. Everybody. Right. Yeah, it, it actually ends up leading to a lot of dealers getting busted because they track down the bills and they find not the person that stole it, but the drug dealer that washed it. Yeah. Don't get got, yeah. people. You don't have to worry about the cops. Yeah. You got to worry about what you're going to do with all the money. <laughs> Thank you very much. The very warehouse much. driver, forklift driver Bob, never showed up to work again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bobby. Yeah, he accidentally crashed in a little wall. The there he before. is. There's Bobby. What a coincidence. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. Oh, man. I don't know. I just thought that was cool, man. Come on. Oh, this is, so they feed the from a, it looks like, uh, where the money trucks will probably store yes, and yes. sort this company yes. guard and got it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Come on. That's not like something you would make a movie out of. Did yeah, they, they make should, that movie? Probably. Yeah, it's like Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. I didn't see it, but is that like Ocean's Eleven? It reminds me of that kind of. It's funny. I was stoned driving a couple days ago behind a guarded truck, and it made me laugh because I was like, what are you going to name your company? It's like, we uh, Garda stuff, man. Yeah, we just Garda, the Garda man. hits, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Is Guard taken? <laughs> Put an A on it. Yeah. yeah. They're saying that uh, cops are doing a bunch of fingerprints, and with 2024 technology, it's a whole different game with touch DNA. That scares me. Ooh. That is so creepy. That is a creepy sentence. Yeah, right. Touch DNA. That's gross. Uh, I don't like that. All right. What else you got? That, that uh... Come on, no, do some no, shout outs, man. Ahead. Did we do shout outs already, oh, man? Did we, we talk to Peepaw? Yeah, we'll do a couple. We What's up, Peepaw? Peepaw? Peepaw Groves Peepaw. and the Green from Peepaw. PhD. Nice. Hit us up. PhD. Wow. Wow, man. Do you think he's really a PhD? <laughs> Stands for pretty shit? high. Damn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on, one more CBD farm. Tell wow. me, what are you making with your CBD? Come on. <laughs> Toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One more CBD farm. Cool. I would like to know what you're doing with that CBD. Yes. Uh, hey, and there's, I've been throwing some memes in. There's been good memes lately. I don't give them the love they deserve. So Thundar the Budbarian. A little brain, brain on drugs meme right here. 1987 is your brain on drugs. 2023, you can't afford the egg. The gas stove is being outlawed. The only thing you can get is the drugs. <laughs> Not bad, man. That's funny. Not bad, man. Oh, dude, that is on point. This is also scary. When he's talking about it, it reminded me. I had to uh, uh, order a headlamp on, on Amazon. I was just looking for a new headlamp. And it was, it was hard to find one that was powered with replaceable batteries. They want everything to be like, plug-in or lithium ion i'm like no i actually yeah. want to have the replaceable battery option like i want that just, yeah know, yeah so you can throw those batteries in the landfill and the acid will what if i'm out in the mountains and i yeah, can't recharge man. it yeah you i know, told you i had a power that. outage and i was looking for i felt like a dummy because we had a power outage for like 36 hours and it's like i should probably have at least a headlamp right right, right? Yeah. i'm surprised you don't have a generator you got a Jenny. i do i do <laughs> yeah it's yeah, not enough. That generator All right, 2,000 working. amps is not enough to keep Scotty entertained, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not telling you about the real, the real story behind the generator. It only, it'll only light veg. <laughs> yeah, right. Me not. 
Thunder the Bar, Bar uh, Bud Barian. Thank you. Any of you DDC producers putting memes up? Grow talk on dudegrows.com. Message me on Patreon. I don't want to miss it. I want to check it out. All right. What else do you have, Scotty? Dude, <laughs> it's Saturday morning. I think we're allowed to play this. It's very PC, all right? But I just found this kind of fascinating, man. It's big guys playing against little guys. In football. It's 11 overweight men played against 11 short men. Right, that guy just pushed that dude over. Foul. No, well, yeah, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I mean, but they, I, is it real? I don't understand. It really seems like they're playing soccer, doesn't it? <laughs> Boy, the is goalie sure has a big advantage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's not even close to fair. I, it says it actually happened. I find this. Well, happened. There's just stuff on the internet where I just don't know what to make of it. So <laughs> Is this Mr. Beast? I can't tell anymore. Who's putting this on? That's the other thing I was just had a question about. You know, cool it sense. looks like it's really sanctioned. They have uniforms and stuff. Anyway, oh. I thought that was weird enough. Hopefully, it uh, it didn't trigger anybody. It made you smile. Yes. Hey, check this out. <laughs> We're talking about you can't afford anything. Stuff's too expensive these days. Mm. This guy could afford the house, just not the land, man. Well, the land's the most expensive part. So oh, look at his solution, man. <laughs> That's a weird solution, right? Well, it gives a houseboat a new meaning. Yeah, he just put his house on a barge. <laughs> yeah, Dude. Like it. yeah, I was gonna say this sounds like something you'd be into. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Sink. I was watching a haul over channel and some guy had his fancy car on the back of his fancy boat. His and, car? Yeah, nothing was going right for him. <laughs> Well, how does that work? I don't. You get really rich. You have like a crane to take your car off of your it, boat it, to unload yeah. it. It was on the back, like on the back platform. It was it was impressive. I'll sh no, it was impressively dumb. It's like when you have so much money, nobody will tell you no. Yeah. Yeah. You want the car in the back of your boat? You yeah, got it. You had that much money, you just have another car wherever you're going. Yeah. You're probably right. <laughs> it was an ornament. Anyway, don't mind us, man. <laughs> A boat ornament. Uh, hey, Grambo, is this what's happening here? So we have one of these here in Denver at the Selfie Museum. It's a perspective uh, illusion. Well, I, I don't understand. <laughs> so the lines are so actually weird. diagonal. It's a it's a trick, and, and so it, yeah, it makes your brain think that the floor is flat, where it's actually oh, way that's lower. So weird. Yeah. Really. That's that is, wild. That is a cool All trick, right. man. Yeah. So that's real, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very real. Fun okay. with perspective. Okay. Consciousness is just a f chemical illusion, people. And things like this show us, and it breaks our brain. We're just a, we're just hallucinating reality, and it, I don't like it. Well, now nothing's real according to Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> this is my is a real segment, man. So the the little people versus big people that was that was real, right? That it was a real. real it, said it, it said it really happened. So. Yeah. The home floating across San Francisco Bay, Grandpa. That I, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. I think it's uh, real. Yeah. All right, man. All right, big and small is real. This is real. This is dude. This is what I picture dude harvesting his hemp plants outside, man. <laughs> I just want to piss dude what off. Is that a it's a reverse tricycle. Uh, what is that? I know. Oh. I so baller he's got the two I thought that would wheels. trigger dude is all this is for. I thought it was an ATV at first, and then it's a... The weirdest device, What are those man. called? There's a name for those. It looks like two motorcycles. Yeah, I thought it was... You know, it's... One of those things, me and my son saw a couple that was traveling on those, uh, yeah, the big two wheels on the front motorcycles and one on the back. And I was kind of like, what's the point? Like, and then, you know, I, I always revert back, dude, why are you wasting energy judging what anybody else wants to do? Mm. They're not bothering you or hurting other people. Like the before mentioned this POS brain weed that is hurting other people. Um, it's almost like it's human nature at times, I feel, to call people out for shiz you disagree with instead of just ignoring it and focusing on you, Scotty. I'll deal. I'll do it, man. Keep I'll caught. do it. <laughs> Dude, remember I showed you that uh, this was the new thing that they keep on showing me on Facebook now? The very strong girl. Yeah, it's little girls picking up motorcycles, man. Yeah. What? It's weird, right? I know, right? In front of a crowd. It's, it's, a, it's the thing in what Japan happened? or something. Oh, this might have been when we had Jeremy on and it's dude wasn't so here. It's so weird, man, right? Yeah. By the way, I've dropped a motorcycle before. It is so hard yes. to pick them up. What they she's doing so is heavy. very, yeah, she's very impressive. Yeah. 
So now Grambo, I didn't realize it was a whole category. Oh yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. So now, <laughs> he's is it a competition like a or something? Is this? A, it's not a fetish, is it? Well, this girl wins. Yeah, hang on a second. She wins. Is this? In my you book. go to motorcycle competitions and they're doing this? He's pretty late yeah. to lift. <laughs> It's weird, right? It's just, the internet just never fails to uh, impress Soviet me with Union, the weirdness. In Soviet Union, you lift motorcycle. Is that, it is a BMW. It could be Europe, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is, uh, no, it's in Spanish, yeah. huh? Yeah, I thought it was more a Japanese thing at first because, like, they got that whole weird game show type stuff. Like, I, can, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, a thing, but this is a different country. You, the, the clue is that there was no blood. Okay, it says un año después, one, one year before, I don't know what to volvi and interar mi liaison de espalda. Is that back lesion? I don't know, it doesn't sound good. Espalda is your back, man. I don't know what lesion is. Lesion? Lesion. Lesion fair. Yeah, by the way, that's me on him in Costa Rica. I'm like, I know every third word. Leave? <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, Scotty, just speak English. We just got English, you. man. English, all right. Yeah. Well, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Happy growing. And we'll catch you Monday, man. Tune in live, 420 Pacific time. I think we're going to have a great IPM panel with a professional yeah. in the industry. So stay Very tuned. Very cool, man. Very cool. Tight work, boys. Good hanging out. Thanks. All right. Time to go make the plant screen. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs>